welcome to the Redefine Podcast. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today is the health episode, how I got my health back on track because it was way off track. It was way off track. And and it's also a conversation about default, right? Um, Default, I think, is the bigger picture. It's the bigger overall theme that I that I want to that I want to get to in the context uh, of health, right? Uh, Default can apply to pretty much everything in our lives uh, because default is what we rely on, right? It's, it's how we operate, the habits uh, that, that dictate the actions and therefore that dictate the results that we have in our lives. Um, this particular conversation will illustrate that in the health conversation. So uh, going back to the events of May, I really let my health slip. Uh, there's, there's, uh, there's nothing more. Uh, yeah, I can't put any finer point on it. Um, Leading up to my dad's death, it was a lot of uh, lack of sleep, not eating regularly. We were waiting in vigil um, pretty much around the clock, especially the week the week before, the week leading up to it. Um, and, you know, doing those shifts, it, it's just it's not a regular schedule. If any of you have had to do that, you'll understand. Um, on top of that, we were it was a re, you know revolving door of visitors, family uh, coming to um, support us. Uh, well wishers and and people you know coming to say goodbye things like that, um, so it was yeah it was it, it just wasn't a regular schedule that you know the routine that I'm used to having you know eight seven to eight hours of sleep eating um, you know in my allotted time of eating, uh, and so I yeah I was I was very very unhealthy guilt going into um, the funeral and then, you know, the, the arrangements leading up to the funeral and then everything, you know, after that with guests and it was just so much to juggle. So I actually lost a lot of weight, um, uh, um, in those weeks, in those weeks. And okay. So, but when I say a lot of weight, it's not a lot of weight, all right? Like relatively, it's not a lot of weight. It was about five pounds. Um, but for me, I'm not, you know, for, you, for those of you who know me personally, I'm not a big, big guy. So five pound swing is, is significant. It's significant. Um, you know, it's very, very noticeable too. Like I, I remember some of the, some of my, uh, good friends that, that came into town, uh, noticed that, Hey, you know, Ronnie, you, you are, um, you're looking pretty thin. You're looking pretty thin. And, and so um, I, I knew it was because of everything that was going on and that I hadn't paid as much attention to my, my health uh, regimen as, as I usually do. After the funeral, after the dust has settled from all of that activity, I started to gain weight, right? I started to gain weight. I stayed, I stayed in, in uh, uh, Durham, which is where my mom lives. Uh, I stayed. I stayed there for for a time, for a, a, quite a long time, actually. Um, so I spent a lot of time there, and you know, it, it's one of those things where I was aware that I wasn't being my normal, healthy self, uh, and and I allowed that, right? I allowed myself to do that because it was what I was, what I needed at the time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know, it was what it, it was all I could handle from an emotional and a mental. Um, bandwidth, even an energetic bandwidth to just be and allow whatever feelings I'm experiencing, um, allow myself to go through that without having to kind of shoulder the burden of everything else that I usually shoulder um, as an entrepreneur, right? Uh, For those of you who are entrepreneurs, you'll understand that with health, um, a lot of times because of our frenetic schedules, because of our our crazy workloads, because of, you know, every, uh, you know, all the responsibilities that, that we have to take on, Health is very often the first thing that that we sacrifice, right? That we sacrifice for uh, for achievement of of the goals and the outcomes that we set out for ourselves. And and this was the case for me, even though I I had put business and I had put marketing and I had put all the social media and content stuff aside. It was all I could do to just be and allow myself to experience what I was experiencing um, without expending. Um, extra bandwidth to make sure I stay on top of things uh, with from a health standpoint. Also to understand that, you know, when you're not in your normal environment, especially for me, where the majority of the people that I was with don't eat and, and have the same regimen as I do, um, it's easier to, to uh, well, just to go along with the flow, right? To eat how everybody eats and to do what everybody does. Um, also, too, you know, with uh, just the other patterns of behaviors, um, it was, it was, 
something that I, again I needed to do for me from a comfort level, right? I, I just needed to go through that. It was it was um, helping kind of soothe and ease my my emotional state. I was drinking a lot too, um, and this is not going to be a conversation of you need to stop drinking. I still like to drink, but I was really really drinking a lot. I was trying to numb. Um, the 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 emotions I was eating for comfort and so you know that 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 resulted in me swinging back another five pounds or so and it was not a healthy five pounds again it doesn't sound like a huge difference but um, yeah for me it's a lot it's a lot um, very very noticeable I, I took some photos of myself in the mirror I think it was late June or July but I, I, I noticed, uh, you know, I saw myself and I was like, whoa, I've let myself slip a little too far, a little too far. Uh, but again, I was conscious of this. I was aware that I was doing this and I was allowing it to happen uh, because there was just, you know, I knew that it would it would have taken too much energy um, and bandwidth to to keep myself on track. And, and therefore, that kind of, he, for lack of a better word, healing process would have taken longer. Right. And instead of instead of drawing it out and, and just fighting it, I let it be. And, and and then once I, you know, I was OK and, and in a space where I could, you know, take take a, a little bit of uh, the helm back, um, then then I did that. And that's what I did. Right. Like I let myself slip. I allowed that. And uh, I think it was around, you know, mid to late August. Uh, I really started to to take better care of myself and it's really that simple and it wasn't it wasn't that difficult right and here's where default comes into the situation uh, because i had been building a lifestyle and and habits around um, health and nutrition and and really you know yeah i created that lifestyle uh, it was easy relatively simple and easy uh, you know i didn't have to i didn't have to fight um you know urges or it wasn't a struggle to to get back into physical activity it wasn't struggle to um to start eating right again because that was my default right it's a default as i said earlier it's a default that i had been building and working on and continue to build um for decades now you know for my entire adult life so so reverting back to that default which uh, for me is a healthier healthier lifestyle uh, was relatively easy and and actually being unhealthy was was uh, was what was difficult right and that's why that's why again i allowed myself to tip um on that side of the scale because i knew the further i tip on that side the quicker i can i can bounce back because i know that that it's it's uh it's being being in an unhealthy state would be would be contrarian to to my default of a healthy living uh, and and from a health standpoint, this is really important, right? Like as I as as uh, I mentioned earlier, entrepreneurs sometimes, uh, oftentimes, uh, the 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 first thing we neglect is our health. And and if you if we are unhealthy, we're automatically not going to feel good. And if we don't feel good, we're going to be less capable of handling the challenges and adversities that we all inevitably face as entrepreneurs and uh you know those those life events that are uh, that are challenging that we all e- inevitably face um unavoidable um those things those life events like the loss of loved ones um that and 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 grief that we all we all will will ultimately face in uh, on our lives on our life journeys um so it's important as much as possible to 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 maintain a strong foundation when it comes to health uh, because uh, that will actually equip you in in better handling um, ev- everything else that's that's going to be coming your way, good or bad, right? Good or bad. So so health is is foundational. Again, you know, as I as I kind of navigate um, these different seasons in my life, and and I've navigated them quite often. The first thing I always um, get back to is making sure that that uh, that uh, I pay attention to my health. And, and from there, I can build from that. I can, I can build on top of good health as opposed to, because it's fund, f- uh, foundational, uh, as opposed to building, uh, some, trying to build something on, on you know, poor health um, or dis-ease. Uh, yeah, well, that's a shaky foundation, right? That's a sh- shaky foundation. So, um, you know, you're, you're going to want to equip yourself as much as possible uh, to be able to deal with the 
adversities that you will ultimately face, um, you know, in and outside of entrepreneurism. Uh, so health is health is foundational. Health is foundational. And the more you do this, uh, you know, the more you pay attention to this and the more you make it a lifestyle, the easier it will be. It, it, you won't have to employ and exert as much willpower and discipline um, because it, it's it's your it's your default it'll it'll become your default and that's the thing about default right um, sometimes we think well it's just it's just who I am it's just what I, I default to uh, you know I have uh, I, I rely on food for comfort well okay if that's that's the story you keep telling yourself then that's how it's always going to be but understand that you it doesn't have to be that way it might be the default now but you can change that default. You just have to have that desire to do it and the discipline to see it through. Yes, the first you know, three months will be difficult. The next six months after that will still be a challenge, but it gets easier as you go. And it has to be an ongoing thing because health is not a destination. I think that's another thing that, that is really kind of what makes it difficult for people to live healthy lifestyles is they're, they, they, eat, they employ... Um, you know, uh, healthy eating and healthy living um, to create a very specific outcome, right? Like it's, you know, bikini season coming up. Let me let me start eating better so I can lose weight and look good for bikini season. But, uh, you know, health is so much more than than, you know, a summer, a summer outcome that you're trying to create with uh, or a summer a- aesthetic that you're trying to create for yourself. Health is is something uh, at health and well-being is is really, you know, how you want to feel and, and, and how you want to live for the rest of your life until until your very last day and if you want to have vitality if you want to have energy if you want to feel good then it's not a you know do uh, eat a certain way for three months and and fit and look good in your uh, in your bikini um, uh, in the summertime and then and then eat the rest of the year right right all right. It's not that. It's ongoing. It's ongoing I, again until till our very last day. Until uh, I know I will till till the very last till my very last day. Pay attention to, um, you know, how I'm eating and 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 healthy living so that I can continue to be vital and and energetic and and feel good, right? And and have that high level of well being that I want to experience in this life, right? So yeah, yeah, that's that's it's fundamental. It's fundamental, y'all. It, you know, if you really shift your perspective and your conceptualization of of nutrition and of healthy living uh, from you know something that you do in in you know this X period of time so that you can create the result, if you shift it away from that to health and wellness being something that you do and how you live. Um, then, then it, you know, it gets easier. It gets easier to to kind of manage the the discipline in in the uh, in the short term uh, for that long term outcome, right? And, and develop that long term default, right? Default, rewriting your default again. You you don't have to be you don't have to be married or stuck with your current default. You can change it. Um, and, and it's just a matter of making these mental shifts around the thing that you're trying to change, so that you can endure the 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 initial difficult difficult uh, difficult uh, period when when you're trying to change uh, change uh, alter uh, the trajectory of your inertia but man that's that's completely wrong. the trajection <laughs> of your inertia there you go tongue twister the the trajection of your inertia right all right uh, an object in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force uh, so it's 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 that initial trying to change the direction of the inertia um, that you have to exert force in but once it starts moving in that direction then it becomes easier right and and you really start to settle into a, a better healthier default that's if you want to create new outcomes in your life and this this goes for anything that you're trying to achieve um, obviously fitness is part of that if you want to get into a fitness regimen if you want to be more physically active um, one of the things that leads to ill health and and you know just this degeneration of of well-being as we age is is a sedentary lifestyle right so if you're sedentary it's going to be initially difficult to to get that ball rolling in the other direction of of being physically active but as long as you 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 know exert that force exert that discipline um, and and uh, and and willpower uh, for a long enough period of time, then it becomes default. The momentum and the inertia um, will will start to carry itself in the healthy direction, 
um, it, it applies to business, right? Business, especially network marketing and entrepreneurism, it's not something that, that, that is taught or it's not something that's normal. It's not something that, that, you know, I mean, unless you came from an entrepreneurial family, entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial family and business owning family, um, then, you know, it's, it's generally something that, you know, nobody has done in your family and and you're the first one right you're pioneering and so it, the inertia of building a business and and you know uh, like being an entrepreneur um it's going to take a lot of effort and energy to 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 create momentum and inertia in that direction because we're used to just clocking in um you know uh, looking for work um earning a wage right like that's that's the mindset that that we're programmed with from really very very early on at least my generation right the 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 current generation is a little different which is awesome um, but for my generation yeah we're we're not taught entrepreneurism uh, we're taught to work for a wage um, and so it takes a lot of momentum to shift that inertia and to change that direction but you can do it uh, but you have to exert the discipline and the willpower for a long enough period of time to, to, to get the inertia moving in the other direction it's really really simple and then there therefore your default um, will will revert back to will will be reset to something that that um, will that can and will create the outcomes that you want to create in life. Um, uh, with this podcast and, you know, with my, with my marketing and, and, you know, the, the social uh, uh, content, uh, the social media content and the content creation, it's actually been relatively, relatively simple because, you know, it's, it's default. Like I haven't had to kind of fight with myself to do this, um, even though, you know, this, this format is a little new. Um, I haven't had to fight myself to to get you know to start posting and and to start uh, to start recording these things uh, these uh, podcast episodes and these videos um, other than like reworking my schedule a little bit uh, the 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 action of of actually recording and posting this stuff is, has been relatively simple because it's already default, right? It's already default. So um, default, right? It's, it's really, really important. And health is, is fundamental. It's foundational to everything that we do as entrepreneurs, as human beings living on this planet. Um, and, you know, in the future, maybe not on this planet, right? right? It's fundamental. It's foundational. And, and so we have to take care of ourselves. So some of the things that I do, and this, is, this part of the conversation will just be very kind of, not very specific necessarily, but um, it's what I do personally, and I sh I'll share it with you. Um, it, well, just take, take what you want from it and, and maybe incorporate and adapt some of the things that I do to stay healthy and to stay vital um, and to stay energetic, right? Um, number one, physical activity. It, I, I, well, like even through, even through all of that stuff that was going on, um, I still ran, I, I was still a runner. I just wasn't posting about it. Right. I'm a runner. Like that's something I'll, I'll never be able to shake because it's, it's default. It's really ingrained as part of my identity. So my body just does it. Um, it's in my, it's in my body memory. Right. So, so uh, like that, that level of, of physical activity remains. I've added, uh, I've added weight training, uh, because weight training, I well, uh, partly you know functional, right? Like as I age, I want to make sure that I can still climb up a set of stairs and that my back is strong and that I can climb up a hill. I live on a mountain, so uh, I need to be able to still walk down to the mailbox a uh, quarter mile down down my driveway, um, uphill both ways, right? So so functional things, um, you know, uh, for for weight training, but also too, again, in in taking those photos of myself in the mirror, I realize, man. Okay, so yeah, you, I let myself slide so much um, that I decided, uh, you know, on top of, of the mileage and the running that I always do anyways, um, I'm going to incorporate weight training just to create a new aesthetic for myself, right? Beyond the, the functional strength, um, I, I, yeah, yeah, I want to I wanna sculpt a new physique. <laughs> and I know, you know, that's just aesthetics and that's just vanity. But, you know, at, at 47, part of it is I, I want to see what I can still achieve on, on a physical level. Um, and, and, you know, throwing in this new type of goal that I've never really had before, um, it, it makes, it adds a level of kind of newness and funness and fresh uh, to my physical activity, right? It makes it, it makes it, um, it, yeah, it just gives it, gives it something new and, 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 and fun to, uh, to go after. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to be on that track and to see what kind of, uh, what kind of, uh, changes, physical, physique changes that I can make for myself. And again, um, there's that functional side of, of building strength, making sure my back is strong, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but also, 
Um, also, yeah, just from a vanity standpoint, <laughs> right? Just from a vanity standpoint. Uh, and then as far as nutrition, I, I just, yeah, it was simple to snap back into my normal nutrition regimen. Um, it's a high protein uh, diet. Uh, and and I, I carb cycle, right? So I carb cycle um, uh, through through the seven seven day process, right? So let's just say the seven day process starts on Monday. Um, I carb cycle uh, Monday, Tuesday is protein day. Uh, Wednesday is a meal day where I'll incorporate uh, carbs and and not really heavy carbs. I I, I don't eat any grain products. Um, the only grain really that I that I consume is uh, rice and and really that's that's I don't even eat that on a regular basis. So um, healthy carbs, uh, no grain products. Um, on Wednesday, I, I allow that in in my uh, in my uh, uh, diet. Thursday is another protein day. Friday, ca- carb day or meal day is what I call it. Saturday, protein day. Sunday, meal day. Right. So, so that's kind of that's kind of the the eating regimen. My my eating regimen for um, uh, for the week. And then and then um, yeah, within that, I uh, intermittent fast. Right. I intermittent fast. Uh, I have um, about a, a six hour window. Uh, six hour, yeah, about about a six hour six hour window where where I, you know I, I consume solid food. Uh, beyond that, uh, I, I mean, I I don't really go hungry, and I have enough. Uh, I make sure I, I have enough in, in that time, and I don't eat huge meals either. I, I'm constantly kind of snacking and pecking um, beyond my beyond my sit down meals. Um, I have enough to fuel what I need, right? To fuel my what I need, and this allows my body to stay really lean, um, very very efficient. Um, I do supplement, of course, because uh, I mean you should supplement anyways because our nutritional the nutritional value of our food has has drastically declined over the last handful of decades. So supplement anyway, um, and because I, I have a high protein diet, I don't eat as much vegetables as as I can. And and living remotely, right? Like it's hard to keep vegetables anyways. That you know I'll, I'll buy a you know some vegetables and and they go bad in like two days, right? So it doesn't necessarily keep up here. And and to go back back and forth to get keep fresh fresh vegetables in the house it just yeah, it's, it's undoable. So I I drink a, a greens product a Yoli Yoli Lean Greens Plus which is an amazing product. It's it's a full serving of of, of uh, veggies and, and so hey, and and healthy mushrooms. I I don't know all the science of it, but uh, yeah, you know it's supposed to be really good, really good for you. And again, it, I can feel the difference. I can feel the difference. Now with this high protein diet. I also have to supplement because it, I mean it, it it's a, a very acidic uh, diet uh, and and you know I don't want to have too much inflammation uh, the the diet and and the exercise does create um, does create acidity in the body so I make sure I buffer that so I have a I have a body pH um, uh, equalizer um, enhancer that that regulates. Uh, the the pH in, in my system and that keeps me super super healthy right that keeps me super healthy and you might be thinking well Ronnie you're just eating you know this sounds just like a you know a fad diet or whatever and and okay so here's my statement about that um, it's not uh, this is something that I've incorporated over time and and you know different things that I've learned and incorporated for myself so so you know have that mindset as you as you are building um, and creating the health results that you want for your life. However, uh, I mean, it's I mean these these things that you hear um, as you see different new trends in health and nutrition, um, just just do your own research, right? Do your own freaking research. Just because what I'm saying might sound like a fad, it doesn't mean that I didn't do research on it. There's a lot of research, and and it's backed by um, my own personal results and results that other people have gotten. Um, so don't just dismiss something outright because it's popular. Um, do your own due diligence, man. Do your own due, due diligence. I think uh, it's weird how the population has become um, very cynical and pessimistic while also being an expert on everything. Like, like we don't believe anything, but we believe everything, <laughs> which makes no sense, which makes no sense. It's a very, it's a very selective belief 
uh, or selective, yeah, yeah, selective belief. We we we're picky and choosy with what what we what we decide is true or or valid or relevant. Um, when really, just look at look at the facts, right? Just look at the facts. Um, the stuff that I'm, I've talked about with uh, with the health and nutrition, my own personal health and nutrition is is backed by a lot of science. And in fact, um, there's a book um, that uh, I want to recommend that you read or listen to or both multiple times. Uh, and and I, I picked up this book around the time that uh, I started getting my health back on track, and it really um, validated a lot of the practices that I, that I that I've had um, you know in my life uh, over the years. It's called Outlived, Outlived, and for the life of me, I didn't write down the author. I apologize, but it's called Outlived. I'll I'll leave a uh, a link in the show notes of this episode. It's a great. Uh, it's a great book. It's a great book, and there's a lot of science behind, um, you know, uh, the stuff that that he talks about in the book as far as maintaining your health, um, and a lot of it is what what I talked about, uh, what I talked about in today's episode. So, um, yeah, health, foundational, foundational. If you are in a space where um, you're finding yourself at your wit's end. Um, health has to be the foundation that, that you see to first so that you can continue to build on top of a, a solid foundation. And, and it, again, it's not one of those things that you just do for a season or for a, a period of time. It's something that has to be ongoing if you want um, a high level of well-being uh, till, till your very last day. It, it don't, don't work. Uh, don't employ a health change only for a season to create a specific outcome. The specific outcome uh, that you want to create is longevity, right? It's ongoing. It's it's not just for you know, um, you know, a resolution in January, or it's not just for the summer the summer swimsuit season next year, right? Create create it um, for for a way that you want to live for the rest of your life. Right and and how you want to feel for the rest of your life. So, that's it. That's the the episode for today. Next episode, um, I'm going to talk about some of the well, the other stuff, right? The mindset stuff, and and especially kind of bouncing back into business and what that all looks like. Uh, so stay tuned for that. For those of you uh, uh, who are watching this, by the way, if you're listening to this podcast, I do live recordings now. Uh, you can go to the Redefined Community on Facebook. I'll leave, I'll leave a link in the show notes of this episode. Um, come visit. I, I record these live. Um, it's raw and it's not as, as uh, you know, it's not as put together as the final uh, episode. However, you can get this content uh, sooner, um, uh, you know, at least maybe a week, sometimes longer uh, than the release of the actual episode. So uh, again, that's the redefined community if you want to watch live recording. Otherwise, the right now the cadence is going to be Tuesday and Thursday because I want to get this material out um, and I want to really get into the nitty gritty of, of talking about marketing, talking about business because there, there's a lot to catch up on, right? I've been gone for a while, so there's a lot to catch up on. So um, the next episode will be released on Thursday. Uh, that is Thursday at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And again, we're going to be talking about how I, I, you know, the things I've done to kind of bounce back and, and get back on track with my, my content creation, my marketing, my social media, and, you know, where business is right now for me personally and what, it, what, uh, what I'm projecting uh, moving forward, the outcomes that I want to create the goals that I've set for myself in the next six to 12 months. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you, uh, and especially for those of you watching the live. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll catch you in the next, uh, in the next one um, on, uh, on Thursday. So until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.